the fighting and everything can serve to suppress a lot of things. The money can, the fame can. But when all those things that have served to push everything to the back start not being enough again, you really have to worry. So for all the people closest to Sean, obviously they got to take a big look at him because he says wild things all the time. But when that wild thing comes after so many things that make sense right in front of it, you got to really take note of it and pay attention. I don't know, Sean, as well as most. I speak to Sean every time I'm around him. I feel we get along well. What I'm going to do is reach out to Eric Nitzik to see if I can get in touch with Sean Strickland, or at least try to see if that dude just needs someone to speak to. Same thing I did for other people whenever they were going through stuff. Because I believe that as people that consume this, we have to show that same support we show the guy that we are loving universally in Alexander Volkanovsky. Because this man right here is, is, is crying out for help telling us, hey, I'm struggling, guys. I'm struggling. And sometimes it's something as it's something that you don't anticipate being the thing that throws you into that spiral. It could be losing that championship belt. I remember when he first won the belt, it, it was almost like he didn't really care until you get it. And it's like that little weird dude on, on Lord of the Rings with the with the with the, the hair, stringy hair talking about his precious because he was holding it. He wanted his precious. It, it was all he wanted in life. When you lose that gold belt, while it may not seem like the most important thing in the moment, when it's gone, you're like, man, I miss it. It's like meeting a woman you fall in love with, and then she leaves you. But you also know when you meet her, you can't keep her forever. Because no one's champion forever. But when it does go, you feel lost without it. And it takes some time to adjust to. And right now, I think that may be playing into uh, why Sean uh, seems to be struggling so much right now. But again, he was very thoughtful in so many of those things. Granted, it was behind a whole bunch of cuss words and everything. But this man's reaching out for help. We should support him as a mixed martial arts community to try to uplift this dude. Because we will enjoy his entertainment going forward. But we also got to care about the person, the human being a little bit, and make sure that they're doing okay when it comes to mental health. You know, before I go, a person that Sean Strickland had in the crosshairs before was Layla Gar uh, Gary. She put out a video this week kind of explaining all the lies that were told about her and her family. I believe that it was long overdue for this video to be made. I really do. I think that when some of these things that were said about Ian and his wife for so long don't get addressed, they continue to grow. So while she was saying that all these things were growing and growing and spreading like wildfire, that's what happens when you don't address them. So it was time for someone to address them. Ian did it, but he did it in a way where he didn't just directly say all those things. Even in the interview with him and I, he spoke about it, but he spoke more about the anger of people attacking his wife and him not being able to protect her in those ways that he is so well good at doing, right? Beating people up. You can't beat the average man up for talking shit about his wife. Can't do it. She clears it all up, says her part. We, can, we have to believe her because it's their life. We can't form opinions and make them true if they are not true. She and Ian and whoever her ex-husband is and her mother and her father and everybody else, they are the only ones that know. We have to take what she said as fact because it's their life. But here's the key. And this is my bit of advice. It's over now. It's over now. Every time you speak 
you open yourself up to being a part of the story. So Dustin Poirier's wife doesn't speak much, right? So when people attack her publicly, it just doesn't make much sense to me. I'm like, why are they attacking Jolie when Jolie really does stay out of the business? She knows that her man is the dude that fights. And if you want to talk shit, Dustin's going to handle that. That's how it works. I can envision a dude talking to her and she just kind of point to Dustin like, get him. That's just the way it works. And I can imagine with Ian, if Layla said, go get him, same thing would happen. But when you make your statement, especially on something like this, you become a part of the story. But you do have a right to say your part. But now that your part's saying, now it's time to kind of fall back a little bit. Because then you told your truth, they have to respect it, and have to leave you alone. Leave you alone. Now Ian can get back to doing what he is so good at. He will, you will still, hey, Layla will still get attacked by guys like Colby Covington because that's it, right? The slow hanging fruit, they're going to attack her in that way. But there will be no more new attacks. It will only be from the old stuff because now your truth has been spoken. And I'm happy for it. I'm happy that she finally addressed it or Ian finally addressed it. Whoever made the determination to do it, did it. Now it's out there. It's done. The truth has been spoken. Those were lies. Now we go forward, and Ian, once again, becomes the focus, and his fight career becomes the focus. And if you really just focus on Ian Gary's fight career, you could never boo him. You could never boo what this young man has done to this point in his career. You can't. He's a 25-year-old, six foot three welterweight who has tremendous skills across the board and looks to be a guy that could tend for a future championship. How do you boo that? You can't. But you can boo all the other stuff. But now that that truth is spoken, it's over. It's over. You need to judge him solely on his fight career. And when you do that, people will fall in love with Ian Gary again. So I'm happy that the truth has been spoken. And I'm happy that the attacks that she should incur going forward will only be old attacks. And since you put a, a nail in it, a lid on it, it should all start to fade away at some point. But now the focus needs to be back on that young man's career.